Someone asked me, which is greater, one-tenth or one-one-hundredth? So think of it this way. If you cut something into 10 pieces, and then you took that same object and cut it into 100 pieces instead, these would be much smaller because you'd have 100 small pieces and 10 fairly larger pieces. So you can kind of reason it out that way. Another way to do it is to get this denominator here to be the same because then we can just compare the numerators and we'll be able to tell whether one-tenth is greater than, less than, or equal to 1 over 100. So why don't we multiply 10 times 10 because that'll give us 100 here. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 10. We have to multiply the numerator by 10. That's because 10 over 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's written. So now we have 1 times 10, that's 10 up here. And then over here we have 1 over 100. And you can see, same denominator here, compare the numerators, 10 is greater than 1. So 10 one hundredths is greater than 1 one hundredths and 1 tenth. That's going to be greater than 1 one hundredths. And in fact, you could just say 10 minus 1, it's going to be greater by 9 one hundredths. There you have it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.